Here at Defenders coach Kobe Carl after his team's win over the Austin Spurs. Coach, uh, he beats the Zubats probably his best game in the D-League yet, 18 points, 16 rebounds. What do you think uh, to kind of turn this around for him? I mean, play, playing multiple games with, with these guys and getting to know them and getting to know you know our, our, our plays and, and spacing and timing, I think that's really beneficial for him and just continuity. Seven offensive rebounds tonight. It seemed like that was helping him kind of get into his groove. Is that correct? Yeah, I thought he put effort there. Um, I, don't, I mean, we're never going to worry about Zoo offensively. Um, it's just it's going to be his defense. You know, that, that's going to determine how great he, he wants to be. How would you uh, grade his defensive effort tonight? Uh, it was good at times and bad at times. So it's uh, you know just being able to be consistent. You know, be be above average to good every possession. And you know, I think at his size and his ability and the way he can, he can move, I think it will take care of itself. So if you would have told me before this game that Vanderbilt would have seven points and Josh Majette would have four assists, I wouldn't have assumed that you guys would have won this game. But it was a real team effort. Yeah. What did you think about the way that your team came together to, to win this game pretty handily? You know, honest, I didn't even know Vander and Josh had low numbers like that. Uh, but that's a credit to the, the other guys to pick it up. And, um, you know, the thing the thing we've talked about as a group and, and, and Josh and Vander were good at it tonight is, is defensively. You know, they're the same way. You know, offensively, I don't think you can question anything they do. You know, Vander's efficiency and Josh's uh, playmaking ability. But uh, defensively, being consistent there is going to make the difference for them. Yeah, Vander, when he, he's been here for a while now. And when he first came, uh, he was kind of, you know, he was getting his shots for sure. And, and he still does do that to a certain extent. But he only took five tonight. Uh, he's shown some real maturity in this season. Is, is that something that he, you saw from him from the beginning of camp? Or that's something that's progressing with him? No, he, we talked about that this summer. He, he knew from day one that, you know, scoring wasn't going to be an issue for him. And, and, he, and he knew that he, he needed to work on his defense and, and show that he can do other things. And he's clearly, he's clearly buying into that. And he's leading us in, in that category. He, you know, he, we, we had a stretch a couple of games ago where we dropped off a little bit defensively and, um, you know, we, we got to build back up. Last thing for you, Coach, we're not going to see you for the next two weeks. Guys are going on this road trip, uh, but a very successful start to the season uh, in your first year. How would you grade just the way that your team has come out and, and really just perform well at this point? Great. Uh, yeah, I think I give him a B plus. You know, I like to give him an A, but uh, defensively we've struggled at times, and uh, you know we have played Rio Grande Valley, which kind of makes you struggle at times. So uh, we played them four times, so that, that, that's tough. But you know, in terms of our um, professionalism and, and our ability to, to win games when it matters and, and get stops when it matters, they've done a great job, and, and they've shown their, their toughness. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, thank you.